Hello, hello Facebook Live. It's Tanya Cowie here with Aspire Body and Mind and today is day nine of self-discovery where every day I ask an excavating question to dig deeper into who you are, discover where you want to go with your life and make some changes, what your purpose is. And today is what advice would you give yourself three years ago? So before I get into the answer to that, which I have I actually read and then pondered about it before I went live, I'm going to say if you are on live, say hello, and if you're catching the replay, hashtag replay, um, and leave any comments in the comment section that you would like. Um, I'm still not great at navigating the live, so if you pop on, I will tell you I can't actually see you. I see the little chat bubble that you get when you're chatting with somebody. So um, I know I've been asked that by a couple people. So um, no, I can't, I can't actually see you. Um, just your, your little uh, bubble pops up and then it disappears and then it just gives me a number. So I don't actually know who's on if I don't catch that bubble that comes up at the top. Um, unless you say hi and then I have then I have you logged in at the bottom or I'm not actually sure where that comes up. So anyway, um, hashtag replay or just uh, say hi, let me know where you're from. And again, the question is, what advice would you give yourself three years ago? Can you see I'm like procrastinating on, the, procrastinating on that? Um, three years ago, three years ago, well, that's when things hit the fan hard enough that I needed to do actually make huge changes and I didn't actually make any changes until two years ago so my advice three years ago would have been uh, for me to do three years ago would be to back off the corporate job that's that's my advice would have been to back off the hours that I was putting into the corporate job I was excited because I, I travel and I'm working the extra day a week or putting in even five days a week meant that I was getting um, enough money to travel quite a bit, um, like two times a year. And I wasn't ready yet to start a business because I had already just left the fitness and nutrition. And one of the things that I don't like to do is sell. I hate selling. I It's, it's complicated. Um, I just grew up with that whole um, fear you, you know, if you don't buy it now, you, you'll miss out and all that other stuff. And as soon as I get an email in my inbox from somebody who is selling to me like that, I delete and, and I don't, I unsubscribe because I do not live my life in a fear-based environment. And, um, I, I don't want to feel that pressure that it's, it's not fear. If, if you think I'm scared, then, then you really are the one who's scared. So, uh, my approach to business is since the three years ago and moving forward and leaning into my human design, um, I'm more of like a, if you like it, you buy it. If you don't, you won't. And, um, but the thing is, if you like it, you have to know I'm out there. So that's why if you're on my Facebook page, um, if you're on my like my actual Tanya Cowie Facebook account, you'll see I have those um, positivity bubbles come up every day. And I, I'm posting here every day. It's not just for sales because um, what I do on my Facebook group isn't for sales, it isn't even exactly what I do as a coach. Yes, I touch on automatic negative thought systems. I'm, I'm very rooted in um, every single level up until you get into courage. Um, has some kind of automatic thought that comes into your head that gets you to go back into that emotion. So I work a lot with emotions and how we get to those emotions and where the beliefs came from and how come you have the automatic thought system to make your decision and it's so unconscious so anyway three years ago when things started to not look right i didn't do anything about it i kept working the extra day a week and putting away the money so that i could travel and uh actually a year two years ago was i had already been thinking about coaching since 2013 and then it's like when you're ready the teacher will show up and I kept getting emails for the SWAT Institute from um, either, one was my actual accountant at the, who had done my previous accounting for my fitness business. And um, I had searched so many different schools and that was just one that kept popping up in my emails. So two years ago when I got back from vacation in Mexico, I actually dug really deep and um, we got back in 
February and I started in March. I started the training for the women's empowerment coaching. And two or three years before that, I had taken an ICF approved coaching program that had a lot to do with um, counting backwards from 10 and then it's almost like a meditative um, coaching process. Hello. So what happened was I didn't really feel that that resonated well with me and I wanted to do women's empowerment. So two years ago, I found out about the SWAT Institute and I took that program. Whereas three years ago, things weren't going very well and all I kept doing was living that loop of going to work every single day. So if that is something that I could tell myself to change, it would be to give up that that extra little bit of income and pushing extra hard to work those hours and focus more on my desire and where my heart wanted to go, which would have led me into the women's empowerment coaching at least a whole year earlier. And if I could go back even farther, I would give myself more, like I would have told myself five years ago or even like I said, 2013, I found out about life coaching and I found out about empowerment coaching. I would go back as far as 2013 and make that change. But that wasn't the question. The question was, if you could make a change, uh, if you could, what was the question? What advice would you give yourself three years ago? So that's it. Thank you for joining me. And uh, today was day nine. And I'll see you again tomorrow for the live. And drop me any questions below or comments below if you have any. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.